Damon here uh, with the kind of full talk through of the Gretsch Dreamliner G2410. I've done a couple of play alongs with this thing. Sounds killer. Uh, as you know, I'm a great fan of the Gretsch Electromatic and the Streamliners. For those people who want to sort of dip their little toe tonally into the Gretsch DNA pool um, without spending big bucks, Streamlines the Electromatics allow you to do that. So certainly in a visual style, in an aesthetic way, it's got the whole Gretsch thing uh, going on. So what you're probably thinking is, uh, what's the difference with this model? Well, the difference is, it's got a slightly thinner body. Yeah, it's got a 2.25 inch body, so that's thinner. So that, rather than putting it in the 5420 uh, or 2420 uh, region with the thicker body, which is more of a rockabilly guitar, it's a great clean rhythm guitar, it's a good jazz guitar, this allows you to kind of veer uh, into some slightly more chunky, overdriven areas um, without any problems of feedback. The, the, like the 5420 stuff are pretty feedback resistant, but certainly here the thinner body gives a less airy element to the sound. So not quite as much kind of sparkly top end definition and a bit more of an inherent sort of mid-range thump. So it takes drive pedals and that kind of thing pretty well. Um, so like I say, 2.25 inch body, um, made of maple traditionally, um, 12 inch radius fretboard, so it's pretty flat, pretty wide, obviously gold tuners. This is the Village Amber finish with gold, resplendent and magnificent. I don't know how uh, Gretsch finished guitars in these price ranges to this level because they are just remarkable. Uh, the old BT2S, uh, humbuckers, so not, and a pin bridge, which is great, it doesn't move around, uh, so the intonation is set. So these pickups, a lot of people ask me this, um, these don't sound like filtertrons, these are more your kind of generic uh, Alnico uh, style humbuckers. I think they're Alnico humbuckers, if they're ceramic I should get into all kinds of trouble, uh, but I'm sure you'll tell me. So there we go, a gold hardware uh, and the Bigsby obviously, so you know, what you're getting is you're getting that inherent Gretsch vibe you know people get bored of playing the same old guitars want something that's a little bit more visually arresting a bit more interesting and tonally different oversized F holes uh, which is an expression that you've got to be very careful using um, yeah which allegedly gives us more sustain and a bit more of an opal open opal no open airy sound um, so People keep asking me all the time uh, about signal path and what I'm using. So today we've gone a little bit old school. I've got my reissue 65 Deluxe Reverb, which I've had for, I don't know, 15 years or so. Saw me through hundreds and hundreds of Fender clinics and demo days. And it's been, you know, on more recording sessions than anything than probably anything else I own. Uh, and on the floor, I'll just pop, uh, pop through this quickly. I've got the uh, Keeley tone workstation which is amazing so I've got compression drive and overdrive boost on that I've got a full tone 2b germanium boost which I may or may not engage uh, I've got a fuzz face mini and all the fun um, delay anything like that you hear any kind of modulation coming from the HX stomp um, which is an astonishingly versatile and brilliant bit of kit so all those years that I slagged it off I apologize it's wicked it's really good and I use it all the time um, so there you go my friends at line six um, it's brilliant so let's do some playing examples I am gonna go clean obviously we'll try and do a few little play alongs as well but remember this now this is it's going through a proper amp so no modeling or anything like that today uh, let's see how it sounds do a bit of clean a bit of dirty and I might even push it as well for a bit of filth um, because as we mentioned thinner body allows you to go a little bit further in terms of gain, compression and drive without getting any uncontrollable squally feedback, which is uh, not what anyone wants, isn't it? Is it? So let's do some clean first, then some crunch, then some gain. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you. 